Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing iOS 14 automations that I believe every iPhone user should have on their device. These are very practical and very useful at the same time and if not all of them, most of them I guarantee you will use on daily basis on your device. Now before we get started, please leave a like on this video. That will help out a lot on this channel and on this video of course for the algorithm, so make sure you smash that like button. All right, let's start off with the first one. So whenever I connect my device to my Bluetooth on my car, Apple Music always starts right away. I don't want Apple Music, I want Spotify. What you can do about that is create an automation and here's how you do it. You tap on create personal automation and from here, scroll down to Bluetooth. Once you're on Bluetooth, select the device and select of course the device, your car, in this case, the Bluetooth of your car, tap done right there or any other device you might have want to do that for your AirPods or whatever you want to do, tap next and then tap on action tap on scripting, open app, and from here, choose the app. So in this case, I want to choose Spotify. So I choose Spotify right there, tap the next button, and we're good to go. Tap done, and from now on, whenever I connect to the car Bluetooth, it will automatically launch Spotify. But you can do even better. Maybe you have a specific playlist on Spotify that you listen always on your car. What you can do about that is open Spotify and tap, of course, open the playlist you want and tap those three dots right there, tap on the share button and copy the link. Now, once you have done that, you go to shortcuts, go to automations, tap the plus button right there, create personal automation. And now what you can do here is again, go to Bluetooth and select the device. In this case, I will select the Bluetooth of my car, tap next, and tap on add action and here search for URL and you have here open URLs. You tap here, you paste the URL, tap the next button, tap done, and just like that, you're good to go. A very cool automation lets your iPhone speak to you the percentage of your battery when you're charging your iPhone. So you don't have to check your iPhone all the time to see if it's charged at the amount that you want. All you gotta do is tap the plus button here to create a personal automation and scroll all the way down here to battery level and choose the battery level right here. So let's say 75%, tap the next button and once you're here, all you gotta do is just choose an action and tap, choose for speak text. So here we have speak text and you can enter the text here manually. You can say maybe like battery charged or battery full, whatever you want here. So let's just type something. So let's just go with battery charge, tap the next button, disable this right here. Make sure you do that tap the dumb button and you're good to go. Now, now you have an automation which will basically tell you when your battery is charged at the percentage that you want. When you open a certain app on your iPhone or maybe connect to a Bluetooth device of your choice, you can choose to have the volume set at a percentage that you want. So let's say you want to have a percentage set at 70% of volume when you connect to your AirPods or at 100 when you connect to your car. You can do that. Or maybe you want to have your volume at 100 when you connect to Spotify or any other app that you use. You can do that easily with automation. So tap right there, create personal automations. Now from here, you can choose Bluetooth if you want to do that for any device, or you can choose app here if you want to do that for any app. So let's just go here with app, choose the app, search an app from here. So let's just go here with app store, or you can choose any other apps that you want from here. You can select more than one app, just like that. Tap the dumb button and then tap next. And from here, just search for set volume. And here we have set volume and you can choose the percentage right here. So 68%, tap the next button, disable this right here and you're good to go. Now, every time you open one of those apps, your volume will be set at that percentage. Or again, you can do that, basically the same thing for Bluetooth devices, and it will set the volume at that percentage. 
A pretty cool feature of iOS is of course the dark mode. It was introduced on iOS 13 and it's pretty cool. It works really well and I like having it on most of the time. But you might not like dark mode, but you maybe like it on certain apps. Well, with automations, you can have your dark mode to be set automatically whenever you open a certain app. To do that, you just create a personal automation and go right here to app and choose the app and from here we can choose one app or we can choose multiple ones so let's just go ahead and try here books for example so in this case i just want dark mode to be turned on when i open the books app and that's it tap the next button tap on add action and search here for set appearance here it is and choose their dark or maybe one light whatever you want you can choose that from here you just tap there so in this case we're choosing the dark mode tap next disable this right here and you're done now every time you open the books app automatically the dark mode will be turned on but that will stay that way as well so when you do that then you go out of the app you will still have dark mode enabled so for that you will have to create another automation just like that one but th in this case you will have to create one when that app is closed so you can see right here we choose books again tap done and choose again set appearance and we choose here light next disable this and now we're good to go so every time you open now the books app automatically dark mode is turned on you exit the app you go to the light mode automatically now if you're a gamer you like to game on your iphone or maybe even your ipad then you can have two different automations that might be very very useful one of them allows to just set do not disturb on automatically when you're playing a game so what you can do here is of course go to app and search for the app right here so let's just choose here and let's just search you can search here for a game but we will do just one app here what you can do is tap the next button and search here for do not disturb set do not disturb on until turned off or maybe you can choose something else here until a certain time or event ends or something like that but in this case we will choose here until off tap the next button and once you open that game it will automatically turn on do not disturb so that you can play in peace what else you can do is turn on guided access whenever you're playing games so maybe like on iphones and ipads without a home home button you can actually sometimes just go accidentally out of that app or that game or maybe if you're a parent you just want your kid to stay on that game and not go outside of that going to the other apps you can do that automatically simply by choosing here of course again the app that you want to use and once you have done that you choose next here and then choose guided access start guided access and just like that you're good to go you disable this and automatically whenever that app or that game is open guided access is set to your device some new options that Apple has lately added to iOS 14 now will let you set automatically a wallpaper at any time of the day. That of course lets you have a dynamic wallpaper on the home screen which will change any time you choose. Now to do that you will need to first go to your shortcuts and create a shortcut right here. So what you need to search for here is find photos. So here we have find photos. And then right here, you can add a filter. That filter will be basically the album from where you want to get those photos. Now, right here, tap on recent and you can choose any like wall wallpapers that you have here, any folders of wallpapers. Once you have done that, you tap the plus button and search for set wallpaper. And here we have set wallpaper. And now you can see it will basically do that. You can choose here whether you want to do that on the home screen or lock screen of course or both of them and then tap next and just name the shortcut and click done now once you have done this you go to automations and from here create a personal automation and then what you need to do is go to time here time of the day and you can choose maybe sunset to sunrise if you have two different like wallpapers that you want to do that for or any time of the day that you pick and once you have done that tap next tap on add action scripting and or, or not scripting right there just go to 
run shortcut so let's just search for that again sorry so search for run shortcut and here we have here shortcuts run shortcut and just tap there and choose the shortcut that you just created tap next disable this and from now on at that time of the day or sunset to sunrise your wallpaper will change automatically now with the new iOS 14.5, now we have an amazing feature on the Shortcuts app, which lets you automatically disable the orientation lock whenever you want. What you can do here is go to Shortcuts again, and you will need to create a, a shortcut here. So just search for orientation lock. So here we have set orientation lock and search basically turn here if you want to turn it on or off. So in this case, we just choose here off and tap next let's just name this here tap the dump button and we're good to go now if we go to automations what we can do here is just choose maybe an app in this case i want to choose youtube so i have my orientation lock on whenever i go to youtube i don't want it to automatically turn off just create a personal automation here choose the app in this case we will choose youtube here so here we have YouTube. So whenever I open YouTube from now on, what I want to do is I want this shortcut to run. So here we have run shortcut. Let's choose that shortcut. And from now on, whenever I will open YouTube, this will basically turn off the orientation lock automatically. And last but not least, of course, when your iPhone's battery is low, your iPhone will ask you if you want to turn on low power mode, but you can actually do that automatically. You create a personal automation and from here, all you got to do, you just go ahead and go to battery level. You can choose here any battery level you want. So in this case, let's just choose here 30%, add action here, search for low power mode, set low power mode on and we're good to go we disable this and just like that whenever the battery reaches 30 percent automatically low power mode will be turned on so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 automations that i believe are very very useful and you should have them on your iphone so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one